What's going on everyone? My name is Jeff and this video has come very very highly requested from subscribers. So we are going to initiate coverage on Valence Growworks Corporation, ticker symbol VGWCF. That is the American OTC ticker symbol and it also trades under VGW.CN and that would be the Canadian ticker symbol. So guys, I just want to be clear, my level of research is going to be somewhat limited, being that this stock is trading on the OTC markets. So there's a lot of things fundamentally I just will not have access to, but I will put my best foot forward and try to put the best video I can together for each and every one of you. If you're new to this channel, guys, make sure to subscribe so you don't miss any future content or update videos, and feel free to drop a thumbs up on this video if you enjoyed it. That keeps me very motivated to keep putting Putting out the best stock market content on YouTube. So Valens Growworks is a biotechnology company and its headquarters is in Kelowna, Canada. It was founded in 1981 and some of its subsidiaries are listed below. Super THC, Valens Agritech, Valens Farms, Energy Holdings Corp and Petrodyne Holdings. Now we're over here on the Valens website. Let's take a look at some of their products. It looks like they have a variety of edibles and topical creams oils and tinctures and looks like they have colorless tasteless odorless powder form easy to add to any food and beverage so that's very interesting i have not seen a whole lot of those products on the market yet and this is kind of an interesting product here they have this sourcey emulsion technology and it's to infuse your foods liquids and topicals without the taste or smell of cannabis and this technology is available in-house that surrounds the oil compounds transferring the entire solution into water compatible forms. They also have the exclusive rights to bring this Tarakino beverages to the Canadian market. So this would actually be a competitor to New Age Beverages, which is interesting. Of course, New Age Beverage just recently signed a partnership with Walmart. And down at the bottom, it just says to look out for sourcey powered products here in Canada very soon. Of course, I don't live in Canada. I live in the United States, but uh, all of this stuff is very exciting. So I've come over here to the investor relations department. I think that is probably where most of our interest is going to be. So guys, I do encourage you to go over to the valensgrowth.com website and go to the investor relations department and that you can put your name and email in and then submit and you can get uh, the latest investor information and company news as it is updated to the public. So I would highly suggest doing that. That way you are getting the news uh, first thing. We can touch on some of these press releases that they've come out with. So some of you might find this video interesting. I will have this company website down in my comment section. Uh, this middle article back on the 11th of March came out and Valence signs a multi-year cannabis and hemp extraction agreement with the Green Organic Dutchman. And then right here, the very next article, which was on February 26th, they signed a multi-year cannabis and hemp extraction agreement with Tilray. So they are mingling with some of the much bigger cannabis companies. So now let's do a little chart work. Like I said, guys, I don't have a lot of fundamentals to bring to this video, but I'm going to do my best to expose every layer of research I can on this company. Now here on Webull, it is saying it has about a $258 million market cap with a 30 forward PE. And I also got the five-year chart pulled up back in 2014. This was a 60 cents per share stock. That's seen a big dip here in 2015, getting under 50 cents per share and has now traded itself well into the dollar to $2 range and is actually traded up as high as $3.03 .03 in 2019. And this is the one-year chart, okay? So you can see the growth is really there even going back to the big MJ boom in September and October of 2018. This is a very noticeable chart pattern, you know, for marijuana companies. Okay, the big spike here sometime around September and October. Then of course, all the stocks, pretty much the entire market slumped for about three months. It looks like a low set in here about the 24th of December, which is also funny because just about every company on planet earth made their low on the 24th of december and now since that time guys trading under a dollar a share has made nearly a 200 percent return okay now well over 
$2.80. And today, Valens Grow Works traded to $2.77. So there is certainly some investor support here on this stock. I would say most of that is probably on the Canadian side, but we are seeing a good company brewing here. And so I think it is time to take interest and perhaps buy this company on any major dip. And guys, I'm going to be using the fundamentals from the Canadian listing, okay? I believe we are going to get a little bit more accurate information than that, and the OTC listing does not provide much information at all. Looks like it has about a $400 million market cap, but of course, the one I was looking at on Weeble, that was about $258 million. Just keep in mind, that is the American listing on the OTC markets, and this $400 million market cap, this is the Canadian listing. It has about a $299 million enterprise value, and it's showing no trailing or forward PEs. So this one I like here a lot, guys. In the 52-week change, it's up 113.07%. It's You will be hard-pressed to find any stock put out that kind of return. And of course, the Canadian listing, its 52-week high was $4.05, with a 52-week low of $0.98. Cents. So if you do have a talent for catching companies at the bottom. Like I said, this one had well over a 300% return if you would have bought on the bottom. So, Valens is not yet a profitable company. This negative 26,503% operating margin, I feel as though that is a bit exaggerated. And I don't feel like any of this stuff is really accurate, being that they don't hand a report over to the American SEC every three months. So I am kind of giving my blessing here just to kind of ignore some of this stuff. But it is very safe to say and assume that Valence Corp is not a profitable company yet. So is Valence Growworks a buy? Should you be buying this stock? In my opinion on that, guys, is just understand all the risk you are inheriting. So this is what you would call true startup investing, okay? You're just going to be basically investing into these chart patterns, trusting that this company is going to continue to grow and that the product or products that they have are going to take this company to the next level. And uh, I have no problem with that. As a matter of fact, I have several companies I'm invested in that are not listed on a major exchange, okay? I always just try to invest in them on a much smaller scale. So I've come back to the company website and I do want to take a look at a couple of these press releases because I think it does bode well the case to be an investor in Valence Grow Works is that they did sign a multi-year cannabis and hemp extraction agreement with the Green Organic Dutchman. And of course the Green Organic Dutchman, they trade under the ticker symbol T-God. Here in the United States, it is ticker symbol T-G-O-D-F. Their operations are more focused on the medical cannabis markets in Canada, Europe, the Caribbean, and Latin America, as well as the Canadian adult use market. Now under the initial two-year agreement, T-God will supply Valens with an annual minimum of 30,000 kilograms in the first year and increasing to 50 kilograms in year number two of cannabis and hemp biomass, which Valens will process into premium quality resins and distillates using certified organic extraction processing methods. Anytime one of these smaller companies starts doing business with a little bit bigger company, you can expect to see some natural growth in the stock. This article also caught my attention. I mentioned earlier in the video, but they're having a multiple year cannabis and hemp extraction agreement with Tilray. And of course, Tilray trades under, under the ticker symbol TLRY. I've done an extensive amount of research on Tilray. I've really been covering them since they hit the market. And Tilray is a global leader in cannabis research, cultivation, production, and distribution. Now they have been struggling lately. Since last year when they hit the market, they had that huge run to $300 a share. And it's pretty much been all downhill since. But Tilray is still positioned to have a really big future. And so Valens having a multi-year deal with them, I think that also provides another bullish sentiment for them. And so under the terms of this agreement, Valens will extract a minimum annual quantity of 15,000 kilograms of dried cannabis and hemp. The company will receive and process the cannabis and hemp on a fee for service based into crude, distillate, and other cannabis oil derivatives as required by Tilray before bulk shipping the desired product back to Tilray for final processing and sale. So I could see them scaling out their business to many, many different cannabis producers. Like I said, if they could get involved with Canopy Growth or Aurora, 
maybe Kronos Group. If that was to happen, guys, I do think maybe now is the time to take a position in Valence Growworks, or at least start taking some level of interest in what they're doing. And so with all that said, guys, I am going to give Valence Growworks a buy rating. Like I said, I am trusting the chart. Just be at the level of understanding. I would only want you to invest in this in a, with a very, very small portion of your portfolio. You know, being that is under $3 a share, you can invest in this on a very small scale. And just be careful, okay? Some of these marijuana stocks, they take off and they boom for a while and then all they do is lose value. I do think the business that they offer and the companies that they are partnering with, it does appear that they have a very bright future and I'll be watching for any big pullbacks in the stock price to enter in a position myself. So anyways, that's all I got for the video. Drop a comment down below, guys. I would love to hear your thoughts on Valence Growworks. Please drop a like on this video if you enjoyed and thank you so much for watching.